All right, guys, so we are off to taking off our hardware, yay! So the first thing you wanna do is get a screwdriver. I'm using a handheld one. Um, you don't have to use a handheld one. It, to speed it up, uh, you can definitely use a power drill uh, to, to remove the hardware. Um, in this case, I wanted to make sure that I didn't strip the old screws that came with the dresser just because I was keeping them. If you're not gonna keep the hardware, I would say you can go ahead and use whatever tool in the back just to remove the hardware. Um, once I knew that I was going to keep them, I needed to clean everything, especially the dresser. You want to make sure that you clean the dresser before you paint or prime it. I wasn't going to use a primer in on this dresser. You can, but you don't have to, um, especially if you use a really good paint. Uh, it's not necessary, um, but in a, a lot of other projects that I've done in the past, I have used a primer in this case I'm not going to use that so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I give the dresser a good clean I'm talking about getting in all the nooks and crannies making sure that all of the routering bits at the bottom of the dresser all the grooves and spaces gets lots of dust out because you don't want to be messing with that whenever you're painting so you want to make sure that you clean it very very good so once I was done cleaning everything I was going to be on to doing um, the spraying of the hardware so so let's keep watching. We are on to spraying. So I decided to do the hammered Rust-Oleum Gold spray. Um, it is has a really pretty color. It's not like gold, gold, like shiny gold. Um, it's more of a very rustic, um, brassy color gold. It's gonna pop really good with the color I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna reveal that soon. So just keep watching so you can see what color green I'm gonna use. Eek, I'm so excited. Drum roll, please. We have Herb Garland here from Sharon Williams. Such a beautiful green, and we are going to be doing the dry brushing method. So, with that being said, I'm going to post the link below with these brushes that you can get on Amazon. I usually get the big, huge value pack of like 30, probably more. I don't know. I have to look at the box, but I usually get a value pack of 30, and I usually use this good pack for about, eh, I want to say like a month and a half out to two months. So it lasts me pretty long, um, but while I was um, painting, um, I wanted to make sure that I got into all those little areas and right here in this corner, um, while I was painting, I was like, wait a minute, I left a piece of tape there. Oh, so uh, it's no big deal. I could use a screwdriver, a flathead to get it off, or you can use a razor blade whenever you run into any kind of gum or any type of tape throughout the dressers. Uh, you know, cause I, they've been, around and as far as being used a lot with different families and such um, you definitely need to clean it but in this case I completely forgot that tape so clean that up and then uh, Jalen is here is going to be jumping in with the foam roller on the sides um, with the foam roller you can get a nice clean flat look uh, on a flat surface so I definitely wanted her to use that on the sides I'm going to also use the same to the front just to give it more of a finished look we want this dresser painted in full and we're going to keep watching. So I'm going to start working on the front faces of the dresser. And again, with these brushes, they get into all those little nooks and crannies. So I'm going to use that for most of the part of the dressers on the front side. Uh, Jalen there is going to be doing the same thing. She's going to be using a foam roller to help uh, with all the flat surfaces of the dressers, especially like around the edges, the tops, the sides, uh, just so we have a nice clean look. And um, we are going to finish off these front faces and then once we're done with that let it sit for a little bit put another coat you want to use several different coats of the paint throughout the dresser especially if you want a full coverage look um, again you can also use a sprayer 
I wanted to give my viewers an insight as far as whenever you're painting a dresser, you don't necessarily have to use a sprayer. Does it come in handy as far as time? Absolutely, but uh, you can definitely knock this out with um, paint brushes, foam rollers, um, and I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So let's keep watching, guys. we are going to be moving on to the top and I'm going to use some white wood here and it's three quarters of an inch thick and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it and explain it. So let's keep watching. we did a dresser and we did use the sprayer and then we also did the dry brushing using brushes from Amazon which I can post a link down below but then also the picture of what they look like um, so it's just a simple bristle brush we did a nice clean coat uh, we're gonna go over it again um, also we did use a foam roller now this foam roller um, you can get them anywhere any hardware store I like using a uh, the foam ones, they have different ones. They have like a micro um, fiber one and we didn't really need that. Um, this is really good as far as getting a nice clean smooth finish all the way across. So that's what we use for majority of the dresser. And then all the little nooks and increments in between these, we did do the brushing. So probably needs another coat. Um, we're not gonna use the sprayer today, but just so you guys can see what it looks like even with the brush. It, it, if you don't have a sprayer, don't don't worry about it. You can still knock out a dresser with just a brush and a sponge roller or even just a brush. So um, we're at the top and I'm gonna be using one by eight by eight, cutting them down to 57 inches long. The dresser is about 55 inches long. So I think I'm, I, I'm debating whether or not I want to go ahead and router the top and give it a nice uh, look to this edging part it looks really pretty but I like the way it looks nice and flush and then also it gives it some dimension so I think I'm gonna go with this look a nice flat finish I'm not gonna router I'm not gonna cut it down uh, it's definitely something we've done previously in other videos if you want to take a look at that go ahead and look through our uh, videos but we're gonna continue on with the project um, and again um, the stain color that we finally decided on thanks to um, our feedback from our Facebook folks on there uh, we decided to go with Blackstone and that was number two Blackstone from Verifane so yay mm -hmm. of the spacing if you don't like that just go ahead and go back over the joiner over and over and over again until you get a nice plank flush look I like the way the plank look plank look looks like mm -hmm. I guess but um just just gonna do like a tiny little spacing just like that because I really like the way that looks now I want to do it very nice and flush again I can run it over the joiner put some clamps on it obviously we're gonna put lots and lots of glue and um once that is ready to stain, we're gonna sand these, stain them, and then I think I'm gonna just go over a nice pretty router on the outside 
side just to give it a finished look. You can leave it as it is with a nice straight look if you want, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and router it because it looks pretty to me. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be, um, again, sanding it, and then we're gonna be staining it and then routering it, so.
again guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. For future videos on fun projects like this, make sure to like, subscribe to our channel, uh, hit that bell for notification, and send any comments that, and feedback that you would like to see more uh, fun projects and DIY furniture clips. Catch you on the next one.